All right. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Meg. We're here today to talk about styling your hinterland dress. And it's one of the things we do most often around here. Yes. Not just because, I, I mean, we work for So Liberated, right. but we simply have a number of hinterland, hinterland dresses, dresses between us. And I don't know about you, but I think of it as the, like, basis of my wardrobe, truly. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely is for me too. It's like you got your jeans, you got your good t-shirt, and you and got, you got your hinterland dress. <laughs> yeah, I think that's accurate. I think that's accurate for me. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, we have some ideas today mm -hmm. about things that you can do to style it. Uh, starting with this uh, version that I'm wearing here, which is a sleeveless, placket-free hinterland, yes. and it is... The, you'll notice that the skirt seems a little more voluminous on mine. That's because I added about six inches of fabric to my skirt panel, um, just widened it by a bit. And so I gathered a little more, super easy to do. Yeah. Um, and of course you can start by simply just wearing the hinterland. Yeah, it, I mean, it is a piece all <laughs> yeah. on its own. You it don't is. have to add anything to it. Yes, yes, um, and it's super great, especially in the heat of the summer to just For sure. wear a short sleeve or a sleeveless hinterland and put on a pair of Birkenstocks or sandals yeah, and, and be on your way. Yeah, it's like the roll out of bed. Absolutely. Thing. It's like if I don't want to even think about getting dressed, that's kind of my go-to. Mm -hmm. You know, all these like effortless outfits that you see on Pinterest and you're yes. like, wait, that doesn't really very much look like yeah. it's effortless. It looks like a lot of effort. Look, so there is, this is, there is a zero, zero this effort. Is hinterland. <laughs> yeah. hinterland sandals or hinterland like um, sneakers. sneakers or hinterland boots. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, my first outfit is the one I'm also wearing here, which is um, sleeveless hinterland over a blouse. And this one that I have on is thrifted. It's many years old, um, but you could do this sort of vibe with any blouse yeah, that any blouse that has little volume to the sleeves yeah um, like less volume um in, in the bodice so not mm -hmm. as much ease in the bodice um but voluminous sleeves work yeah. so like the, we were thinking um anthea blouse mm -hmm. by anna allen i was thinking the agnes top which okay. is an older tilly in the buttons pattern it's and it's a knit so it's very fitted it okay. has like a little bit of a puff sleeve, which could be very cute. Oh, and Friday Patterns. Oh, what's the name of that one? Adrian. This, yes. The Adrian that blouse. That would be perfect. Would be nice. Because yeah. again, fitted in the bodice, so easy to layer, but with a little bit of volume on the sleeves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, let us know if you have any other blousey, um, blousey tops that you yeah. think would work Any number well. of blousey tops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you can also flip that around and wear your blousey top on top okay. of your sleeveless hinterland. Um, and in this example, I, I took the same blouse and I used one of those little hair ties um, that uh, I got from my a kit my daughter has for making bracelets. <laughs> I have a number teeny, of these available to elastics. me. Teeny tiny clear elastics. You can also get them like at the drugstore. That oh, see. I don't. I don't have any kids. So I only I just know. Buy them, I only know the crafting <laughs> <laughs> benefits. <laughs> so, um, so what I did is I just you know made a little a little loop de loop with the clear elastic and I tucked it under, um, and that gives kind of a fun waist definition yeah. to the hinterland because this hinterland doesn't have any ties. I opted not to put ties on it. Um, so yeah, so tying a shirt over it cinches it in a little bit. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, you could do the same sort of thing with a graphic tee. Yeah. Um, I have done that many times. Um, it's a it's a good spring or summer look yeah. too. Yeah. Very um, easy. A bedrock um, tee. A which bedrock is, tee would be perfect. That's our new pattern that's coming out. Yes. Uh, if you're watching this post September 2022. It and it's will be already out, out but um, the bedrock tee is yeah. just that. It's a bedrock. Um, yeah. And it's perfect for layering, and it has a little extra room at the hips, which makes it really easy to tie, I mm -hmm, think. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the bedrock, um, this one where I'm wearing the black uh, tee, a more, slightly more fitted tee underneath the hinterland, you could do this with a bedrock, a long sleeve bedrock tee, short sleeve bedrock tee. 
um, or a stacia tee is yeah. also totally doable there. I also wear my a, a longer stacia dress underneath my hinterland sometimes. Yeah, I like a longer stacia dress underneath a full placket hinterland mm. and leave it like unbuttoned at the bottom. Oh, fun. It's kind of cute. I like that. Yeah. I like that idea. Um, so many layering opportunities. Um, and also the whole jeans thing. So you're going to see me, I think wearing jeans one more time in this little styling video, but, um, I am a huge fan of layering, uh, crop jeans, like roll up the peg your jeans or roll up, roll them up. Yeah. Um, and wear them with chunky boots. I think that's, that's totally my vibe. Um, I sometimes wear wide leg pants with my hinterland. That's a yeah. more like flowy. Yeah. I think like vibe. I'll wider long silhouette over wider long silhouette gives it like more of a boho vibe and mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. the cuff jeans are a little bit more punky Bo yes. both of which yes. I think are your style yes yeah uh, for sure um and a good pair of leggings mm -hmm. are also essential for yes. layering I, I did not so we are filming this in the heat of the summer so, so it's a little too hard to put on leggings <laughs> so we I didn't I didn't get my leggings out of storage it was like painful to wear <laughs> to wear these <laughs> these boots I was like I can't get these boots off my feet are so sweaty <laughs> but yeah it's very hot now but with uh with a pair of leggings um mm -hmm. you can you can really winterize your yes. hinterland um merino leggings would be so nice and yeah. we have our limestone leggings which again post 2022 yeah, if you're September, watching this, they'll be out they'll be out um but if not you have a sneak peek at what our next pattern is going to be very very fun leggings pattern and all sorts of lengths and all sorts of fun ways to style it um so um with that we'll move on to wearing it with a duster now mm, a duster, this is our lichen duster. You can wear any sort of like long coat yeah. to get the same vibe. Um, for me, I like to wear this a lot in spring and fall. Even in here in North Carolina, I will wear yeah, this. early winter, you can probably still get away with too, it. winter too, inside the house, you know. Yeah. Um, and I just love the lichen over a hinterland because... The lines really the line, complement each other. The lines are so nice. Yeah. Um, so... Um, again, you know, you could, you could do what a layer and whatever way you want, um, on your legs too. You know, if you want to add a pair of, a, a pair of jeans, or if you want to yeah. add, you know, a pair of leggings, go for it. I'm wearing tights here. And so we have one more look from me, yes. which is a uh, short, shorter sleeve. hinterland, hinterland. Um, and, and I did wanted to note here, like I wanted to bring in this dress to show you because I do think that the length that you choose for your hinterland makes for a different vibe. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and my go-to outfit formula for a shorter hinterland is like a jean jacket, or in this case, I'm wearing a thrifted, I think it's probably like a fake leather jacket. Um, and, you know, you could wear a cropped sweater. You'll see Meredith doing this in her, yeah. in her videos, her little looks. <laughs> And uh, with a shorter hinterland, you can also just like layer a t-shirt over mm -hmm. it if it's sleeveless um, and, and just go your merry way. Yeah. yeah. I think the shorter hinterland provides a lot of layering opportunities, mm -hmm. like across seasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So should we talk about my first look? What yes. Which what was your first look? look? Oh, it was just clogs with my flannel hinterland and a floppy wool hat. Okay. Um, and this is kind of a late fall, early winter look because I'm not wearing tights, but the flannel hinterland is really warm. So I can wear it in North Carolina well into the fall and early winter without tights. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and, like, and you are probably dying right now because yeah, I'm pretty hot right now. <laughs> summer and we're I'm feeling pretty hot <laughs> uh, in the flannel, but this is one of my favorite hinterlands. Um, I made it when I was living in Maine because all of my hinterlands were too... Mm -hmm much like summer fabric, mm -hmm. linen and cotton mm -hmm. uh, for me to be able to wear them a lot there. Mm -hmm. So I wanted a flannel hinterland and it has still served me well yeah. in North Carolina. It's just a little shorter window when I can wear it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, and like you could make this in a wool also. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> but if you, you live have, in a colder climate. Meredith has like 
at least 289 wool sweaters, beautiful wool <laughs> sweaters. Huge exaggeration. Them, so. <laughs> but I do have a lot of sweaters. You have two huge drawers yeah. full. I have two of drawers of beautiful sweaters. sweaters um, so yes, and my next look is a hand knit cardigan mm-hmm. with some little flats over um, my flannel hinterland. And which who, this is a great look. Who's this pattern by? This is a pattern by Karina Spencer called the Minimalist Cable Cardi. And there's a long version too, which would also be really cute mm-hmm. over the hinterland. Yeah, like a whole, like um, like a long jacket, mm-hmm. like the unfolding jacket by Wixton. Yes. Yeah. Or, um, or just any sort of like grandpa cardigan. Yeah, and I think the fun. longer version of hers has more of like that grandpa vibe. So mm-hmm. if that's... I tend to like a cropped cardigan just because mm-hmm. with my height, I think that silhouette mm-hmm. suits me best. But mm-hmm. you know, a long cozy cardigan. I or could jacket see. Is great I could too. even see like a short hinterland with a grandpa cardigan. Oh yeah, that would and be really some, cute. Some like leggings or tights and, and boots and some boots and some like uh, big chunky socks yes. that are scrunched down. I'm I'm all about that vibe. Yeah, with a little. I like mini. that vibe too. Yeah. Yeah. Now it makes me want, makes me want. <laughs> now look, I'm ready look, for fall. Look, look forward to fall. Look forward to winter. Uh, yeah. And then um, my next look is another wool sweater, but a pullover. Mm-hmm. And I wear this pullover with my flannel hinterland and with one of my cotton ones. I have a navy iCat cotton that it looks great over in early spring when it's still a little chilly. Mm-hmm. But with the flannel, it's really good for winter um, with tights and boots. Definitely too hot for right now, but yes. a great go-to look for me. And I also want to say, um, if you look on our website and if you look at the, um, learn to sew your clothes, the first course, Mm -hmm. the sewing, sewing basics. Yes. Is that what's called? The intro to sewing. (laughs) The one where, one where folks learn how to use their machine. Um, in the product photo, I'm wearing a sleeveless black hinterland layered Over over, uh, Oh, shifty. shifty sweater. Yeah. So that's a very fitted cropped sweater. Mm-hmm. Um, the pattern is by Andrea Mowry. Um, and I love that look in, yeah. in the winter, like to wear a fitted cropped sweater underneath my sleeveless hinterland. And I think that one's nice because that sweater is so colorful. So then mm-hmm. having that colorful sweater underneath with a solid colored hinterland, whereas yeah. like this look is a plaid hinterland with a solid colored sweater. And this is the Nurtured Sweater also by Andrea Mallory. Mm-hmm. Um, Which is a little more boxy. Yes, it's than, looser, so mm-hmm. it's easier to put over top. And the other sweater I sometimes wear over top is the Grace Pullover um, by Denise Byron because it's it's mm. cropped and hits at a really nice length for pulling over a dress. Nice. Mm-hmm. But just a little too warm to wear right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I had one last look, which was just wearing a knit hat with tights and flats. Yes, and my, okay. Um, flannel hinterland and I would wear a coat with this were I to go out into the world but sometimes my house is a little chilly especially in my office so Mm -hmm. I like to wear a knit hat with my dress when I'm at home so when when I lived in rural Mexico for three years before my kids were born and Patrick and I were there like one of the things that was that we just had to do because there were like huge gaps just in the wall Mm -hmm. in our house like Central heating was not a thing. We heated right. our house with a tiny little wood stove, um, and you would just you would just layer. Yeah, and that's actually like better for the environment right. to like <laughs> wear your sweaters yeah. inside. You know, like just stay as warm as you can inside. Yeah, and, I mean, I still try to do that now. I don't like to have my heat too hot in the winter. Totally, totally. Um, I'd rather just put on a sweater, put on a hat. Yeah, wear a flannel dress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very fun. <laughs> So I um, hope you've enjoyed these. It's re- really just like dipping your toes into the possibilities mm-hmm. of styling the hinterland. It's yeah, it's so versatile. Yeah, and I think we kind of focused on layering, especially mm-hmm. for like transitions between seasons here, but there's so many ways you can style the hinterland if layering is not your thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, accessories, 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 like, I mean, you know, a good pair of sunglasses, a great scarf, a fun hat. Great shawl. Oh yeah. yeah. We didn't do any shawls or, yeah. or like kerchiefs or anything like that. Um, all very, very yeah. fun, easy things to do to spice up an outfit and change your shoes. Mm-hmm. It can make I a mean, you don't need new shoes. Just change them out. Like, you know, try it out. Like wear, wear. Yes, a... Because of Meg's encouragement, I got a pair of high tops and I've been wearing them with my dresses more and it just feels like a little more <laughs> fun and different. It's a new look for me. Yes. And I'm enjoying it. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so it would be fun uh, to see your combos that you come up with. Tag us on Instagram, um, Hinterland Dress, 
and we can't wait to see you hopefully in one of our two hinterland courses. Yes. So we have a learn to sew hinterland, which is an intensive, like think of it as an intensive sew along, but really like super duper learning all the professional skills. Yes. It has a bunch of information on fitting your bodice. So if yes. that's something you've always been curious about, nervous to try on your own, you don't have to do it on your own. You don't Sherry have to do it on your you. own. Sherry is our instructor and she's been teaching people to sew for like 25 years. Um, and, and yeah, the fit and sew bodices hinterland course is perfect. If you've never like, if you, you've been afraid to figure this out, yes. um, we will, we will hold your hand and walk you through the whole process. And by the end of it, you'll feel totally confident yes. in, you know, taking any pattern and knowing what you have to do to get it to fit your body. Yeah. Um, I'm just excited for everyone who's going to get to take it. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> and then we also have our creative hinterland class, which is more of a intermediate to an advanced class on learning how to hack your hinterland. So these are pattern making skills that yes. we'll be teaching you. And we do that through going through 12 hacks of the hinterland dress. They're all amazing. They're all amazing. <laughs> We're biased, but they are. <laughs> and it's a great course if you have made the hinterland, if you've made 10 hinterlands, if you're looking for a new challenge and a new way to express your creativity in sewing. Yes. Yes. So we get, we, we do these hacks, but also you get the skills to be able yes. to then hack any sewing pattern to, and just bring your creative vision to life. So it's all very fun and um, yay for the hinterland. Yay for Meredith for making 18 million hinterland hacks. And Meredith can now sew any version of the hinterland with her eyes completely closed. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think I could probably sew the original with my eyes closed. That, that I can do for yeah. sure. <laughs> but if you take the creative hinterland, you too will be able to sew 18 million hacks if you so desire. <laughs> All right, y'all. Take care.